What's up, guys? Today, Ray and I are going to show you how to make pancit canton. Pancit canton is a Filipino noodle dish that contains two types of noodles and is loaded with a variety of meats and vegetables. To make our version of pancit canton, you'll first want to fully submerge one ounce worth of rice vermicelli noodles in some water. This will allow the noodles to soften and be easier to work with come later. In the meantime, you're going to want to prepare and blanch the vegetables. In a new pot, pour in enough water to be able to boil your vegetables. We recommend filling your pot to about half to three-fourths of the way full. Then, cover your pot and bring your water to a boil. While it's getting to a boil, you also want to get a bowl of ice water ready for the second part of your blanching process. When your water is at a boil, go ahead and throw in half a cup of sliced celery, one cup of julienne cut carrots, and two and a half cups of chopped cabbage. Make sure your vegetables are submerged and allow them to boil for two minutes. Next, strain the vegetables from the pot and then immediately throw them into the ice water to stop the vegetables from cooking any further. Afterwards, strain the vegetables one last time. Once you're done, just set your vegetables to the side for now. Next, you're gonna wanna use a wok to stir fry your pancit. First, pour in about two to three tablespoons of oil and set your stove to medium heat. Then toss in half a medium sliced onion. Saute your onions until they're translucent and have a little give to them. And then add in four cloves of minced garlic. And saute them until you can smell that garlic aroma. Afterwards, throw in one fourth of a pound of chicken thighs cut into strips. Fry up your chicken until they're fully cooked, making sure to flip them to get all the sides. At this point, lower your heat to medium low and pour in two tablespoons of soy sauce and allow everything to simmer for about two minutes. Then add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce and one and a half cups of unsalted chicken stock. Set your heat to medium and continue simmering everything for another 10 minutes. Next, drop in one fourth of a pound of peeled shrimp and simmer the shrimp for an additional two minutes. While the shrimp are cooking, strain the rice noodles that you soaked in water from earlier and break them up if they're still clumped together. Once the shrimp are cooked, toss in eight ounces of Kenton noodles. Using two serving utensils, mix the noodles around and do your best to soak them into the liquid. When the noodles look like they've absorbed a fair amount of liquid, but are still somewhat stiff, go ahead and add in your rice vermicelli noodles and stir them in. If you want, at this point you can salt to taste. We skipped it just because it was already good. Afterwards, just add in one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper and mix it in. Finally, just drop in your vegetables from earlier and give it one final good mix. And then you're done. It's Telegung Tasty 